Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie, and today I have an Urban Outfitters beauty haul for you. These are all items that are sold in store or online, and actually Urban Outfitters sent me this curated box just for me. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, they didn't ask me to make this video, but it turns out a lot of these products are things that I've been wanting to try, so I thought it'd be cool just to share it with you. Let's just get right into it. I have Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, and this is their new neutrals color pencil shades. These are all pencils that are either for your lips or for your eyes, so safe for both. This is a really nice range of cool and warm tones. You got a couple of each, and then you also have a black. I'm really looking forward to trying these out. I've always enjoyed OCC lip products. I do apologize, I really was meaning to wear one of the lip colors from this haul for this video, but then I put this on earlier, and I just like, I couldn't take it off because it looks so good. This is a ColourPop's new collection with Karuchi, and I am wearing the Ultra Matte Lip in K with the uh, matching lip pencil in K. And I really, really like it. It goes along with the eyeshadow that is in a palette that's in this video. I have a few body face products to show you. This is the Plant Folk Raw Honey and Wild Mint Lip Scrub. This stuff smells so good. It's kind of like a mint julep, and the ingredients are really great. I was just reading over it. The first ingredient is cane sugar, raw cane sugar, rose hip seed oil, jojoba, coconut oil. There's a lot of good stuff in there, especially in the winter time, transitioning into summer. You know, you got some like dry lips and you just gotta get that dead skin away, so I will definitely be using this. Next up, I have a Yoshimomo Bamboo Hibiscus Foaming Facial Scrub. Besides the packaging, which I absolutely love, this is my like favorite kind of look out of any kind of packaging. It smells really great, it's also quite minty, and if you kind of just feel the product, it's very, very fine, uh, so it's, I don't think it's gonna be really harsh for any kind of skin type and you're supposed to just use it in replacement from your cleanser, so I am very intrigued by this. I will be using this, and if I do like it, of course, I will speak about it in a favorites. Here we have the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. I always like to carry one of these with me on long plane rides, or maybe even just in my purse sometimes. I don't know, my skin's kind of changing as I get older, and especially on planes, the air is just so freaking dry. It just really messes with my skin. Again, the ingredients in this are really great. Uh, the first few ingredients are water, aloe juice, coconut. There's also some witch hazel in there, which is really great for your skin because it's disinfecting or antibacterial. One of those two, dang, I, is there a difference between that? Anyways, it's actually just great for your skin, especially if you're acne prone as well. I used to use um, a witch hazel toner all over my face in uh, place of a harsher like alcohol-based toner. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be carrying this little guy with me. Also, I forgot to mention, these are not real tattoos. This is from Mr. Kate's new collection. It's called Bloom. I have the other sheets here. Here we go. Here's one of the sheets. It's all kind of like watercolory, beautiful little guys. This one has some daisies on there. I actually put the daisy on on this wrist. I'll try and do a little close up so you can see it. This collection is so pretty. Um, obviously, I like it because I try it out. And she also came out with uh, these rings that I'm wearing right now too. Kate's always coming up with such beautiful stuff. She can honestly do no wrong. She and her husband Joey have a YouTube channel. If you haven't checked them out, they're Mr. Kate. They do so much like DIY stuff. Uh, interior design, it's just really entertaining uh, and fun to watch, so you should definitely check them out. Uh, thank you for these rings. And also, Kate, if you're watching this, did you paint these yourself? Because they're really beautiful. Moving on, we have this BH Cosmetics 28 color eyeshadow palette. This is their Neutral Eyes palette. I've never used anything by uh, BH Cosmetics before. I've heard a lot about them, but yeah, I don't know why. I've just never got my hands on anything. Uh, today, I used this guy right here, which is like the main color, slept all over my eyes. I used this one kind of as a blending, and I also used a little bit of that one right there. I was very pleasantly surprised by the color payoff and how easily it blended. I pretty much just like suck it on my eyeballs and did it really quickly, and I feel like it's pretty blended. Hopefully, it's pretty blended, but I thought it was really easy to use. I don't know the exact price of this, but I do know that BH Cosmetics is quite fairly priced. So it's pretty awesome that Urban Outfitters is now carrying them. Urban Outfitters is now also carrying Sigma, 
which is so awesome. Um, this is a little collection of brushes that I absolutely love. I think it was the very first collection of brushes that I ever got from Sigma maybe a few years ago and I really like run it down. I actually broke this thing on accident. So I really love this little container for traveling. You just, you can stick a bunch more brushes inside. I actually got one of these uh, for my Christmas time giveaway but I didn't get one for myself. So now I have one for myself. I'm pretty hyped about that. This is Milk Makeup's Matte Bronzer in Baked. And you know, I've been really wanting to try more like stick bronzers, ones that I could put on and then blend in with my beauty blender because I know a lot of people do that and I've just never done it. I've always done uh, powder bronzers. So I'm excited to try this one out. And it's also intriguing because it says it's matte. So I feel like it really does go from like a cream to matte formula. So yeah, if I try this out and I like it, I'll let you know. Last thing is Milk Makeup's That Red though. <laughs> I do to say Urban Outfitters picks companies with great packaging. Like these are all beautiful things just to have on your vanity. And uh, this is no exception. And look how cool, it just opens up, like it slides open. And I tried this out uh, a couple days ago. It's such an interesting formula. It's kind of like bouncy, but when you put it on, it's quite dry. If you see that, it just kind of, it's super dry and pretty staining. I put it on my lips and it gave me this really beautiful, like, I remember when I was younger, I used to get raspberries or blackberries and kind of smush them up and put it on my lips and pretend it was lipstick. It almost gives you that very like berry kissed lip look and it stays on. I put another product over it and later on the night when I was wiping everything off, it was still just like clinging on for dear life. So there's a lot of longevity to this product for sure. And yeah, like I said, it has such an interesting kind of dry formula. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out a bit more and also going online and checking out the color range. All right, those are all the products from Urban Outfitters. Honestly, I feel like Urban Outfitters has really stepped up their beauty game like a lot just in the last year. I'm so excited to try all these products out. If you have any recommendations for any Urban Outfitters beauty products I should try out, just let me know in the comments down below because yeah, like I said, I'm hyped on all these. If you like this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. That just lets me know I should keep filming these hauls. I actually do have quite a few beauty hauls that I could film. I'm just not sure if you'd like that. So let me know if you'd like that. I have some really cool stuff coming up for you. So stay tuned for that. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.